After leaving the month of Tishrei, replete with various mitzvot of Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, and Sukkot, the month of Cheshvan appears bare, mundane, and bitter. Our Voda is usually quite perspicuous throughout the month of Tishrei, yet the opposite is true about Cheshvan. How is our Voda Hashem meant to be expressed during the month of Cheshvan? The Shemi Shmuel, written by Rav Shmuel Bornstein, notes that the Seder Hagadalim, the flags which the Shvatim carried as they traveled through the Midbar, corresponded to the different months of the year. We know that Yosef is divided into two separate Shvatim, Ephraim and Menashe. The flag of Tishrei is allotted to Shevet Ephraim, while the flag of Cheshvan is allotted to Shevet Menashe. Before understanding what the correlation between Cheshvan and the tribe of Menashe is teaching us, it is imperative to understand the root of what Ephraim and Menashe stand for. The Shem Yishmuel explains that the nature of Ephraim and Menashe is sur meira ve'asetov, stay away from evil and do good. Menashe's name comes from the words nashani elokim es kol amali, you made me forget my pain, which focuses on the negative, sur meira, staying away from the bad. Ephraim's name, however, comes from ki hifrani elokim ve'eretani, Hashem allowed me to multiply and do good. Ephraim's name is focusing on the good, on the asetov. Therefore, together, Menashe and Ephraim represent the idea of Sor Meirav Asetov. The question the Shemi Shmuel asks is which of those mitos should precede the other, Sor Meirav or Asetov? When Yaakov was going to give a bracha to Ephraim and Menashe, he started to put his hand on Ephraim first, but Yosef wanted him to switch hands because Menashe was the firstborn and Yosef believed that his character trait of Sor Meirav came first in the order of the Pasuk, Sor Meirav Asetov. The Shem Yishmuel explains that this machlokas between Yaakov and Yosef, which we see in the Torah, was not about who should get the first bracha in terms of being the oldest, but rather which of these midos was primary, Sor Meirav or Asetov. Yosef wanted Yaakov to put his hand on Menashe like the order of the Pasuk says. First you must be Sor Meirav, and once that is completed, then Asetov can be done. However, when Yaakov Avinu put his hand on Ephraim first, he taught us a new approach to serving Hashem. By believing that he should begin with Ephraim, he was exemplifying the idea that we should begin with Asetov. Yaakov taught the fundamental idea that we should initially involve ourselves in doing good, Asetov, and automatically from that will be Sormeira, removed from the bad. The Shemi Shmuel explains here that it is extremely challenging to be Sor Meira. The state of evil is very difficult and the Yitzhar Hara is very cunning. Therefore, it is challenging to delay the Asetov only until after the Sor Meira, the bad, has been removed. We can now properly understand why the months of Tishrei and Cheshvan correlate to Ephraim and Menashe appropriately. Tishrei is associated with Ephraim because it is full of mitzvos, and it is therefore all about Asetov, doing good. Cheshvan, however, bereft of special holiday mitzvos, does not provide Asetov that is unique to the month. Therefore, the essence of Cheshvan is Menashe, Sor Meira. Our job to, during this month is to stay away from evil and focus on what we can eliminate from our lives that our Yetzir Hara is trying to lead us towards. The Shem Yishmuel further explains that every month has a different constellation, a different mazel. The mazel of Cheshvan is an akrov, a scorpion. The Avne Nazar says that when we talk about certain months having a specific mazel, they often have no meaning and could even have a negative connotation. However, when the Gemara in Shabbos, Kufnon Vav, explains the idea of Ein Mazel Yisrael, it means that although each month has a certain mazel or disposition, a Jew has the power to transform a negative tendency into a medium for Kedusha. An example of this is Cheshvan. As the Shemi Shmuel explained, Cheshvan's mazel is a scorpion, which represents Krirus Ruach, a cold spirit. The nature of a scorpion is to be stationary and passive. It is known to be one of the most solitary animals. Everything that a scorpion does throughout its life is with a certain coldness and lack of passion. That's not a media that we strive for, rather the opposite. We hope that every person will be passionate and engaged in the world. Therefore, if the month of Cheshvan is parallel to the tribe of Menashe, and the purpose is to work on Sur Meirah, 
then perhaps we should use the Mida of the scorpion of being stationary and channel it towards Kedusha. The Mida of Kriros Ruach can help us be Sorme Ra. If we're tenacious and stay put like a scorpion, staying away from negative pursuits. Our avoda is not primarily expressed through Asetov this month, but rather through Sormeira, staying away from distractions in our lives that are not good for us. Cheshvan, in fact, is not a month of bitterness and bareness. Rather, we should maximize our time this month to first reflect on all of the Asetov that we have recently attained and allow ourselves to focus on the idea and pursuit of Sormeira. May we all be Zoha to remove ourselves from negative temptations and influences in our lives and tap into the Kedusha of this uniquely special month as we continue to develop in our Avodah Sashem. Chodesh Tov.